O oh God, come to my assistance. Lord, make haste to help me. Gloria Patria et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. Sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. When I survey the wondrous cross on which the prince of glory died. My richest gain I count but loss, and pour contempt on all my pride. Forbid it, Lord, that I should boast Safe in the death of Christ my God All the vain things that charm me most I sacrifice them to his blood See from his head his hands his feet, sorrow and love flow mingle down. Did e'er such love and sorrow meet, or thorns compose so rich a crown? Were the whole realm of nature mine That were a present far too small Love so amazing, so divine Demands my soul, my life my own. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my side like a mighty warrior. Hear this, all you peoples, give heed all who dwell in the world, men both low and high, Rich and poor alike My lips will speak words of wisdom My heart is full of insight I will turn my mind to a parable With the harp I will solve my problem Why should I fear in evil day? The malice of the foes who surround me Men who trust in their wealth And boast of the vastness of their riches For no man can buy his own ransom Or pay a price to God for his life The ransom of his soul is beyond him He cannot buy life without end nor avoid coming to the grave. He knows that the wise men and fools must both perish and leave their wealth to others. Their graves are their homes forever, their dwelling place from age to age, though their names spread wide through the land. In his riches man lacks wisdom He is like the beasts that are destroyed Gloria Patria et Filio Et Spiritui Sancto Sicut erat in principio Et nunc et semper 
et in secula seculorum. Amen. They insulted me and filled me with dread, but the Lord was at my sight like a mighty warrior. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. This is the lot of those who trust in themselves, who have others at their beck and call. Like sheep they are driven to the grave, where death shall be their shepherd and the just shall become their rulers. With the morning their outward show vanishes, and the grave becomes their home. But God will ransom me from death, and take my soul to himself. Then do not fear when a man grows rich, when the glory of his house increases. He takes nothing with him when he dies, his glory does not follow him below. Though he flattered himself while he lived, men will praise me for all my success, yet he will go to join his fathers, who will never see the light any more. In his riches man lacks wisdom, he is like the beasts that are destroyed. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. Deliver me, Lord, and place me at your side. Then let whoever will lift his hand to strike me. You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you have ransomed us for God. O Lord our God, you are worthy to receive glory and honor and power. For you have created all things, by your will they came to be and were made. Worthy are you, O Lord, to receive the scroll and break open its seals. For you were slain, with your blood you purchased for God. Men of every race and tongue, of every people and nation. You made of them a kingdom and priests to serve our God, and they shall reign on the earth. Worthy is the Lamb that was slain to receive power and riches, wisdom and strength, honor and glory and praise. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper et in secula seculorum. Amen. You were slain, Lord, and by your blood you have ransomed us for God. God singled out the weak of this world to shame the strong. He chose the world's low-born and despised, those who count for nothing, to reduce to nothing those who are something, so that mankind can do no boasting before God. God it is, who has given you life in Christ Jesus. He has made him our wisdom and also our justice, our sanctification, 
and our redemption. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. Because by your cross you have redeemed the world. We praise you. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto. We worship you, O Christ, and we praise you. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. My soul proclaims the greatness of the Lord. My spirit rejoices in God my Savior, for he has looked with favor on his lowly servant. From this day all generations will call me blessed. The Almighty has done great things for me, and holy is his name. He has mercy on those who fear him in every generation. He has shown the strength of his arm. He has scattered the proud in their conceit. He has cast down the mighty from their thrones and has lifted up the lowly. He has filled the hungry with good things and the rich he has sent away empty. He has come to the help of his servant Israel For he has remembered his promise of mercy, the promise he made to our fathers, to Abraham and his children forever. Gloria Patri et Filio et Spiritui Sancto, sicut erat in principio et nunc et semper, et in secula seculorum. Amen. I have power to lay down my life, and I have power to take it up again. Redeemer of the world, give us a greater share of your passion through a deeper spirit of repentance, so that we may share the glory of your resurrection. May our mother comfort of the afflicted protect us, May we console others as you console us. In their trials, enable your faithful people to share in your passion, and so reveal in their lives your saving power. You humbled yourself by being obedient even to accepting death, death on a cross. Give all who serve you the gifts of obedience and patient endurance and transform the bodies of the dead to be like your own in glory, and bring us at last into their fellowship. Sanctify your people, redeemed by your blood. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Almighty ever-living God, Grant us so to celebrate the mysteries of the Lord's passion that we may merit to receive your pardon. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit. God, forever and ever. Amen. May the Lord bless us, protect us from all evil, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.